But listen, there's good news with the advanced reports from today's mid-year economic and fiscal outlook, the budget update, that Australia next year will start paying down. It's almost $600 billion in gross debt. Now, there's a variety of reasons. Things like the 371,000 new jobs created. More jobs equals more people paying tax. At the same time, there are also fewer people unemployed, which equals less money being paid out. There's iron ore and coal prices. They're keys to our export wealth and economic health. In May, government said iron ore would fall to $55 US a tonne. Today, it's sitting above $69 a tonne, which is worth close to $3 billion to the budget bottom line. It all adds up to $23 billion being paid off the national debt next year, cementing our AAA credit rating, which Standard & Poor's previously had said had a one in three chance of being cut. Now, this is all great news, but with this, there is a conundrum, because while the economy is improving rapidly, many households, maybe yours, will feel worse off, at least for the next 12 to 18 months. Wages not growing and interest rates are likely to rise if and as the economy picks up. In Sydney and Melbourne, house prices, you can feel it, are cooling quickly. The wealth effect of higher house prices is dissipating. You can see that in the shops already, with sales in full swing a week before Christmas. For many households and retailers, life is tougher.